Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a two-digit number and the number one. And we're going to do this using the vertical format. So we're introducing the vertical format for the first time. Let's have a look at our first example. And we're going to write this down in the vertical format. What is 56 minus 1? Now we've said this before, the key to this is to write the numbers down in nice neat columns. Okay, 56 minus 1. Now what I'm going to do is to label the columns. We've got units and tens. So we've got a units column and a tens column. Now, the similar to addition, for subtraction in the vertical format, we also start on the right-hand side first, the units column. So let's try down here, units, it is 6 minus 1. So we're doing our workings at the bottom. What is 6 minus 1? 6 minus 1, well we know that, 6 minus 1 is 5. Now how do we write this down? We write down 5 over here. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Now we're going to do the tens column. We've got 5, because we've got nothing below it, that is effectively 0. So let's write this down as well. 5 minus 0, well we know that, the answer is 5. And that is our answer. 56 minus 1 equals 55, using the vertical format. Okay, that was nice and simple. Now let's look at one which is a little bit more complicated. But I assure you it won't be. This time we've got 80 minus 1. 80 minus 1. Now again, we're going to label the columns. We've got units and tens. Always check the sign. We are subtracting. Okay. So let's start with the column on the right hand side first, the units column. Let's do our workings at the bottom. We have 0 minus 1. Now 0 minus 1, we can't do that. So what do we do? Well, what we have to do is, we have to take a 10 from the column on its left. Now, just be very careful how we do this. Now, I'm going to go through this slowly, so just follow it. Do you notice the 8 and the tens in, in the tens column? Well, what we're going to do is, we're going to cross out 8. There we go. And we're going to subtract 1. So, the number before 8 is 7. The 1 we have taken there we're going to move across to the right hand side. Okay? So the units has now become 10 minus 1. Okay? It's not 0 minus 1, it is 10 minus 1. Go right down to the bottom and we'll do the units again. This time it is 10 minus 1. So what is 10 minus 1? Well, we know that from our number bonds. 10 minus 1 is 9. So we can write that down. 9. Okay, so that's the units column done. Just be careful how you do that. Now we're going to go to the tens column. Now in the tens column, we've got 7. We don't have 8 anymore, we've got 7, because we've taken 1 from here and moved it across to the unit side. And it's 7 minus 0. Let's just show that in our workings. We've got 7 minus 0. Now 7 minus 0 is... 7. And that is our answer. 80 minus 1 equals 79. And that is how we subtract a two-digit number and the number 1 using the vertical format.